So recently there was an analysis of a piece of software in the US which was helping or supposed to help judges with sentencing requirements. So when someone was convicted in court, this computer program would suggest how long they should go to jail for. And after quite a lot of analysis, it seemed to show that actually this piece of software was, was racially biased. It was giving uh, people of colour longer sentences, more punitive sentences than it was giving to white people. Um, and this surprised a lot of people, not all, but some who believe that software is somehow neutral, right? That technology is, is a levelling force, that it's kind of, it actually makes us more equal and, and um, uh, allows us to make better, more equitable decisions about the world. Unfortunately, that's really rarely the case, not least because the only thing software has to look at is what we're doing already. So we're building expert systems based on our own history, and unfortunately our own history is massively racist and prejudiced in a whole kind of bunch of other ways. Um, as a result, like what's incredibly necessary in this field is uh, a massive democratization of this, these technologies. Uh, rather than being built purely by, by um, technologists uh, with a particular kind of expert skill, but not so much um, kind of social and historical knowledge, um, these technologies need to be opened up to wider and wider access so they're actually more representative of a, of a, a wider uh, population and possibility.